So with this idea of routines and discipline, it all comes down to actions. And does your belief match up to your actions? How important is that as a leader to have those things match up into a line? So belief, w- without belief, you're not going to get anywhere, right? Without believing what you're doing, you're not going to make any progress at all. But belief by itself is not going to move the needle, right? You can sit there and believe all day that you're going to make a bunch of money or you're going to get in good sh- good physical shape or you're going to learn how to play guitar. You can believe that. You can sit there and believe that as hard as you want. But you're not going to get healthy. You're not going to get rich. And you're not going to learn how to play guitar unless you take action. So belief is powerful. And, and you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe it's possible. And, and by the way, to me, you know, people talk about, you know, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Well, like I just said, without action, you're not going to achieve anything at all. So it's not just this, this sort of saying that you throw out there. You've got to back that belief up with, with actions. And, and that's what you have to do as a human to, to make progress in the world. So as a leader who maybe isn't consistent with that, what does that do to the team? What's the fallout for that leader whose beliefs and behaviors don't align? Does that cause a loss of trust with the team? Oh, if the leader's not acting in a way that kind of purports to the beliefs that they have, yeah, that's not going to work out well. Your, your, your team is watching you. And this is something I had the, the luxury of of when I joined the military, when I joined the SEAL teams, I was the youngest and I was the most junior guy in my first two SEAL platoons. And when I was in that position, I sat there and watched and looked and judged the people that were in charge of me. And if they were two minutes late to a meeting, I'd be tracking it. Oh, I see you're two minutes late for the meeting, huh? This isn't that important to you. You can't even show up on time. Or if they forgot a piece of gear, I'd be thinking, oh, there you go. You can't even bring the right gear. So what I learned as a, as a young SEAL, a young junior SEAL in the SEAL teams, is that your leadership is what your, your troops are watching you. And so, yes, if you're in a leadership position and your behaviors don't match what you say or what you, you claim to believe, everyone's going to see through it and they're not going to follow you. That they're, they're just not going to follow you. You have to absolutely back up your beliefs with your actions. And everyone, when you're in a leadership position, everyone is watching. Mm. Yeah, that's a next level responsibility. And we say around here, more is caught than taught. Usually it's around, we're talking about kids watching their parents handle money. But I think the same thing applies to the troops looking at the leader, the team member looking at the leader going, hold on, you said this, but I see you doing this. And therefore, I can't trust you. And therefore, we're going to have a very different working relationship. And the results are going to be different too when it comes to the revenue, the culture, all of those pieces that have a domino effect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, and and I'll, I'll be quite frank with you. As a leader, you better perform above the standards that you're holding. You can't say, hey, well, you know, I want everyone to be in here by eight o'clock in the morning and then you show up at 7.59. That doesn't cut it as a leader. You better get there well ahead of anyone else. That's what you better do. Mm-hmm. If you expect people to stay until five o'clock and you're scooting out of the office at two, it doesn't work. And if you're scooting out of the office at at, right at five o'clock, well, you're showing everyone that that's the level of dedication you have. You need to stay until the job is done. That's what people need to understand. So you need to set the standard for yourself, set the standard for the team, but then for yourself, you need to hold yourself to an even higher standard because they are watching in a most profoundly judgmental way. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Good reminder there.